totally unique surface compared to what we raced all year. Hey, we got a live Fram cam on board with Phil Nicoletti, and we're going to actually aim it at the rider. We normally aim it out front, but we're going to give you an idea of what these guys deal with when they're out here, how much they get jostled around by the machines as the Fly Racing 30-second card is up. Probably also see some sand being shoveled at Nicoletti when we start rolling. 40 riders on the gate. We're going to race for 30 minutes and two laps. Eli Tomac on the green number three, going for a second moto win of the day. Oh, Roxon got pinched, but he was able to sneak through pretty easily. And the whole shot to Bogle once again with a no footer. Woo! Four straight hole shots for Bogle, but here comes Christophe Porcel. The oh. Frenchman on the 377 wants to take it away. Well, Porcel's got the inside coming in this corner. Not able to quite make it happen there, but he still goes for it. Oh! And he rams Bogle's front wheel, and Bogle goes down. Lines came together. You talked about that on that Kawasaki track map. Several sections of this track invite those tangle ups, and it cost Bogle dearly. So now, Porcel the lead, dealing with Ken Roxon, your series points leader who got to the lead in Moto1, but he was hunted down by Eli Tomac, who is fourth at the moment. So the question is, can Rocks get by Porcel and stretch it out? He goes a long way around on a smooth line. He's got it, has he? Yes, he seals the deal. So Rocks once again wasting no time, and guess who's coming with him? The big number three, Eli Tomac, race one.